ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wilderness Field Journal. I'm your host, Flapjack, and for today's episode, we are in Assateague Island National Seashore in Maryland. We're here for a one-night overnight backpacking trip. We're going to hike down the beach, camp out in the dunes, and hike back tomorrow. Uh, this is going to be a really good time. Stick around. For the first part of this hike, we're going to stick to the pavement. There's plenty of beach walking and walking in the sand is tough, so it's nice to take a little easy path on the pavement to begin with. Get warmed up for the beach walk ahead. How are you feeling, Dave? Awesome. This is a beautiful day. There is pretty much not a cloud in the sky. Just a little the clouds on the horizon. They're calling for a 20% chance of rain. I'll take those odds. There you go. That's okay, and if you feel like hiking, hike. You can see I have the park pass hanging from my pack there. Keeping legit. What kind of bird is that? Another one right there. Pika deer grazing by the roadside. Last buildings we're gonna see for the next 24 hours. Ooh, dried mango, thank you. This is the best part of the trip where you finally get out onto the beach, see the ocean. coastline in the Atlantic Ocean and uh, you can really experience it when you walk out here with a backpack. When most people think of the beach they think of condos and boardwalks. When I think of the beach I think of dunes and wild horses. This is a trip that I try and take at least once a year. This is the time to go hiking here at Assateague in the early spring before the bugs are too bad. One of the biggest challenges about backpacking here at Assateague is the lack of water. So you gotta carry all your water in, which can be a real chore. You gotta be strategic about what you bring. Somewhere up here would be a good spot to take a little break. What do you think? Check it out, Dave. Salami cheese. Gotta love pirates beating. Probably about three quarters of the way to our campsite, and uh, now's a good time to collect some firewood. See what I can find back here. 
This is some just access road. Besides water, firewood is also really scarce here at Assateague. Um, there aren't really much in the way of forests um, because it's so much beach. But up ahead here, there's a couple little small pine trees and I think we could probably scavenge around in here to find some firewood. Found a few down tree branches here. This will make for a nice beach fire tonight. This area I'm in is a salt marsh. Uh, this is an area between the beach and the bay side of the island. Uh, this area is actually usually swarming with mosquitoes, but because we're pretty early in the season, they're not bothering. It's kind of nice to step back here, get away from the beach, uh, experience a little change of scenery. This dry, dead grass here will make some good tinder. It's only going to take a little bit. So I don't want to leave a scar on the landscape. So just a tiny little bit, won't hurt. This is all dead growth anyway. Try and get it from a spread out area. So I'm not taking it all from one spot. Kind of minimizes the impact on the land a little bit. Not too bad. This will really help to get the fire going. He returns victorious. Can we even carry all that wood? Uh, I think it will break it up. And then I got some bungee cord. Cool. Bungee we don't have far to go. It looks like we made out all right. I like how all of us have our own system for transporting. What are you using there, Andy? Uh, I guess it's like a sniper's tail. Ah, interesting. Uh, That's fairly secure. I think it'll work. Get that firewood back to our camp. My map is telling me we're getting close to little levels. Get to that point where it's about mile three and a half of a four mile hike where everybody's getting a little tired. <laughs> With a heavy pack on your back. You think we're almost there, Dave? Yeah, I believe uh, should be right over there. Yeah, I think we might almost want to start walking up into the dunes. Yeah, I see people up there. We're going to go scope it out. I think we may have just found our campsite. And we're trying to find a spot where it's a little removed from everybody else so we can have some privacy. I see a spot over the dune here that might work. What do you think, guys? I think this is going to work. This is a really good spot. We're kind of set away from the other campers. You can see the bay from here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And we got a nice picnic table. I'm gonna get this pack off and it's time to relax. Oh, that was a heavy pack. About a four mile hike. How are you guys feeling? Fantastic. Feeling all right. Got some good troops here. This is a great part of the trip because you get to enjoy all of the fun stuff that you labored so hard to get out here. Like margarita. Like margarita yeah. mix. Yeah, you burned that. And those. beer. Margarita. And chili. Dinner and breakfast and firewood. Oh, man. And lots and lots of water. For this evening, I think my top priority for now is going to be setting up shelter because there's a bunch of different people here tonight and I want to stake my claim. When you're setting up your tent in soft sand, 
not just any tent stake will do. You need a really big, really long one like this. Love this tent. It's a Marmot Limelight 2, two person backpacking tent. This is a tent that I've had for many years. Been on a lot of adventures with this tent. This is amazing. We just got our camp set up. We are in a gorgeous spot. The weather is perfect. We are just going to kick back and relax and enjoy being here. It's not just five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock here. It's good. It's not even ice cold. It's still delicious. Good call, Andy. Got all kinds of good stuff in this pack. Uh, it's it's kind of lost its chill. It's, it's colder than as if we were sitting out in the sun, but I think I might need to cool off that beer. It's going to make a good steak. <clears throat> By the way, if any of you guys have ever heard of this Left Hand Brewing Company Milk Stout Nitro, this is really, really good. If you're going to carry it out here, you might have lost it. Wrap it this way, wrap it that way. Maybe. I think I'm going to tie a pretty rough knot for this. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'll get it up. I really don't want this coming undone because throwing my beer into the ocean. I don't want to lose it. That is my beer packet. Drive the steak in. I have a loop at the end of this piece of line. I'm just going to hook here. And then just toss it in the ocean. from our little beach area back to our camp is one that I will take many times this evening and it's actually not the easiest in the world I don't know if you see what I'm walking across tire tracks from all the surf fishing trucks driving down here ah oh, it's better for my beer to chill in the ocean. We have a hors d'oeuvre of some stuffed calamari, coals, this stuff is amazing. We have some olives, my pack, and I think we have some cheese in here, yep. Cracker barrel cheese slices. 
and a little bit of pita. It's pretty nice hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, it's cooling down. What better thing to have for our hors d'oeuvres on the beach? Stuffed calamari. Mm. Oh man. Calamari stuffed with onion, rice, tomato, spices, and sea salt. Yeah, yeah, get in on that, Andy. Good stuff. I think it's time for our beverage. That's the real trick on my tile. Sand. I think I'm gonna rinse that off real quick. This is gonna probably. Whoa. Cheers, guys. Thanks for coming out. Delicious. Dave's going the MRE route. Would you say Southwest beef and beans? Southwest style beef and black beans and sauce. That sounds delicious. Delish. That's the way to cook your MREs on a tripod. It's all about the fresh. So Andy, what did you find on this log over here that you think will help us start a fire? Are those plants that uh, just like grows from the moisture in the air? Yeah. I'm not sure what they're called. I think we could try that. I also found some of these. It's like plant heads. Yeah. Almost the same thing you got there. Try and see if we can get this started with a ferro rod. Lichen, or moss, or whatever that stuff is in a candy food.
Albacore tuna. Just came right out of the ocean over there. <laughs> you just caught him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this packet was just floating over there. Much better than last week on the steak. It wasn't frozen. That looks like a really nice dinner you have there, Andy. There's the dinner, all finished. I think that's pretty good. I think it's gonna need a little pepper. For hot sauce. To go with dinner, we have a beverage. Chilled in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Sounds like something you'd read on a page. Chilled to perfection in the water of the Atlantic. Limbo IPA by the Long Trail Brewing Company. This is one of the only IPAs that I actually like. I'm not an IPA fan. Yeah, I think it's a black IPA. That's black IPA. Yeah, it's really rich. So, Back and oh, that's a really good yeah. idea. Cheers. <laughs> I had a little bit of an easier ride out <laughs> in the waves. Kind of cool how it like illuminates the depression in the sand that it left behind. guys, I think that wraps it up for tonight. Just enjoying a cup of tea, sitting by the last bit of the fire. We burned up a bunch of wood. We saved a little bit for tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. 
See you guys in the morning.